Number one, you've got to create that culture of trust. Be transparent as much as you can. Be clear about what you need from them. Number two, give them skin in the game. Sit back and take the simple path to leadership. The question of what belongs to you, the question of how belongs to them. Most of the time, they are going to have amazing ideas to move your organization forward. Number three, manage performance. Take the time to hold them accountable. Do what you need to do to get the dead weight off the team and then give them support. Invest in them if you want them to invest in you. Look, I'm not going to kid you. I believe I study this stuff for a living, and I believe we are in for even more challenging economic times. I just think we have things in this country we have got to deal with. But at the same time, I believe this is one of the best economies to be successful in. If you understand the shifts, if you understand the secrets, if you embrace the fact we are not living in the same economic times. The customer has changed, the employee has changed, so your strategies on how you need to do business have changed. Next time I get in the car and I listen to the radio, I don't want to hear Tom Friedman talking about what's wrong with this country. What I want to hear is more stories about organizations and practices and businesses like yours. I want to hear the stories of those organizations that are putting these practices into place. Those organiz organizations that are trying these new ideas and these new strategies. Because I promise, if you do, if you understand the secrets, if you understand the shifts, you are going to put yourself in a position to make this economy start working for you. Thank you.